bioblaster ozone generator. Today, in this exciting insider video, I'm going to show you another way that you can make profit using the bioblaster ozone generator. So I'm here at the World Gen, someplace in Ohio, and what we're doing is we're going to be treating this entire facility tonight to kill all the viruses, all the bacteria, all the mold spores, and most importantly, to eradicate all those funky gym-based odors. Folks, it doesn't matter how well you sanitize your gym. The World Gym is one of the cleanest gyms on planet Earth. But no matter how hard you try to sanitize it, when you've got an 18,000 square foot facility with 20 foot ceilings like this gym behind me, there's always going to be nooks and crannies and crevices and cul-de-sacs where viruses and bacteria and mold spores and funky gym odors can hide. One fell swoop, we're going to treat this entire gym. Now, for the job, we've brought in seven ozone generators. Remember, this is an 18,000 square foot facility with 20 foot ceilings. So, that is the equivalent of 45,000 square feet with a seven to eight foot ceiling. This is a lot of space and it needs a lot of gas to get to those kill levels. So, for this, we've brought in our heavy duty bad boy vertical ozone blasters. These will blow 30 feet in the air, so they're gonna get that ozone way up to the ceiling. For the smaller rooms, like the locker rooms and the Zumba rooms, we've got our Sterling XT Pro cannons. And folks, these machines are gonna make mincing out of the odors in this gym. We're gonna go ahead and show you how we're doing our setup, stage them, and hopefully gauge the response of the gym users over the next couple of days after the treatment. So folks, as you can see behind me, this is an incredibly vast facility, over 18,000 square feet. And what we've done is we've positioned our vertical ozone blasters one third of the way in the big room. We're putting our smaller machines in the Zumba rooms and locker rooms and children's uh, daycare centers so that this entire facility is going to get treated with the ozone gas. So folks, here I am in the women's fitness room at the World Gym. And you know, women like to have their privacy, so this is a, a separate, totally enclosed area of the World Gym. What we've done here is we've positioned a Sterling XT Pro Cannon high up in the room. And we've used one of the supplemental air movers. We're going to turn on this fan and help blow this gas continuously throughout this room. And this little Sterling can will turn the air blue in this room, sterilizing all the viruses, all the bacteria, all the mold spores, and destroy that pungent odor from working out. So folks, this is the first vertical ozone tornado we're setting up in this 18,000 square foot gym. It's about a third of the way back from this long room. We positioned it in the center of the space so that it will shoot the ozone gas up to the ceiling and then suck it as it falls naturally back down through a cascading effect off the floor and blow it up again, holding that ozone at really high levels, killing all the viruses, bacteria, and odors. And so by positioning this thing one third of the way down, we can position the other two in a third and a third and literally fill the entire space with ozone gas. We're going to turn all these machines on, then we're going to come back in with our respirator after 10 minutes with a check back to make sure that the ozone is still working, we didn't trip any breakers, and that our treatment is underway successfully. Hey guys, this is it. The stinkiest room in the entire gym. The men's locker room. So you can see where I've positioned this machine. At the furthest point back, blowing outwards across those urinals, across the stalls, into the big open area where all the lockers are. There's a sauna in here, there's showers in here, there's toilets and sinks. That means a lot of water, a lot of moisture, a lot of men's sweat and funk. And folks, tomorrow, this place will be defunctified with the power 